planet Mercury represents our intelligence, curiosity, and communication abilities in a birth chart. When it's retrograde, it can bring about distinct traits and tendencies. In astrology, a retrograde planet is like an optical illusion where it seems to move backward in the sky from our viewpoint on Earth. Even though it's not actually moving backward, it holds astrological significance. When a planet goes retrograde, it gets closer to Earth, which can intensify its effects. This heightened influence is particularly noticeable throughout life when a retrograde planet is in your birth chart. This is why some ancient Vedic scriptures equate the energy of retrograde planets to the strength of a planet positioned in its exalted or own sign. It can be very positive or negative energy based on the house placements and beneficial aspects. However, it can also lead to moments of confusion or prompt you to rethink and redo things related to that planet. Individuals with Mercury retrograde might come across as deep thinkers who ponder the mysteries of life. They are the type of people who question why things are the way they are and how they function. This introspective nature can make their inner world rich and complex. Mercury retrograde individuals also possess the ability to view the world from a different perspective. Their thought processes can be unconventional, fostering creative thinking and unique problem-solving skills. They contribute fresh viewpoints to discussions and excel in projects that require innovative approaches. Communication is another area where Mercury retrograde people stand out. They tend to be more deliberate in their speech, choosing words carefully. It's as if they are crafting their messages, reviewing and double-checking before sharing. However, some may struggle with communication, feeling that their thoughts don't always come out as intended. One noteworthy characteristic of Mercury retrograde in a birth chart is eccentricity. These individuals often possess a quirky sense of humor that aligns with their unique outlook on life. They find humor in the unconventional and bring a refreshing twist to social interactions. However, it's not always smooth sailing. If Mercury is poorly placed, challenges can arise. These individuals may also find themselves prone to moments of impracticality. Their unconventional thinking can lead to ideas and plans that are challenging to put into practice, requiring a balance between their distinctive thought processes and the demands of daily life. Regarding stability, Mercury retrograde individuals may encounter uncertainty in their positions and decisions. Their unconventional ideas and communication style might make them appear unstable to others who don't fully understand their thought processes leading to challenges in both professional and personal relationships. A straightforward way to assess the effectiveness of Mercury in your life is by evaluating your math skills. If you can perform calculations without the need for calculators or other tools, it suggests that your Mercury is functioning well. However, it's important to note that Mercury reaches maturity at 32 years of age. So, regardless of how unfavorably Mercury is positioned in a horoscope, it begins to yield more positive results after a person reaches the age of 32. The house placement of retrograde Mercury in the natal chart adds complexity to its effects. In astrology, houses represent different life areas, and the combination of a retrograde Mercury in a specific house can influence how the retrograde energy manifests. With this context in mind, let's explore what retrograde Mercury might signify in various houses. The first house, often referred to as the ascendant or rising sign, is a crucial part of the natal chart as it represents the self, one's identity, physical appearance, and the way others perceive us. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, resides in this house in a retrograde position, it significantly influences how a person communicates and processes thoughts related to their self-image and identity. They are often deep thinkers, especially when it comes to matters of self-expression and personal identity. They have a natural inclination for introspection and self-analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their own thoughts, self-perception, and the way they present themselves to the world. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder the complexities of their self-identity. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to how they present themselves, their image, and their personal beliefs. They might seek alternative or non-traditional approaches to understanding and expressing their individuality. Therefore, this person can be extremely communicative. They communicate through various means, whether written, oral, or other channels like media, movies, and showcasing their artistic abilities on stage. All these avenues serve as ways to communicate with others, and when Mercury is in the first house, these individuals are inclined to use any and all available channels. Their life path becomes intertwined with communication. Communication within the realm of self-expression and personal identity holds paramount importance for them. Those with this placement may find that they communicate about these topics with depth and precision. 
They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful self-expression. They may excel at articulating their thoughts and ideas about their identity. As Mercury continuously moves, these people do not wish to remain in one location. They are capable of multitasking and working in multiple places simultaneously. It is likely that they pursue careers in business because Mercury rules commerce and is located in the first house of their life path. These individuals are inherently intelligent, appearing charming and youthful. In their personal lives, they seek partners who share their strong communication skills, constantly engaging in meaningful exchanges. However, it's important to note that if Mercury is poorly placed in the birth chart, it can present challenges. Communication related to self-image and identity may occasionally become overly critical or self-critical. They may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their self-perception or may feel that their thoughts about their identity are not always easily understood by others. It's as though the depth of their self-exploration can sometimes be challenging to convey. Overall, this placement adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of self-expression and personal identity. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on self-image, and thoughtful self-expression, it can also bring challenges in effectively expressing self-perception and identity. The second house in astrology is often associated with money, family, personal values, speech, and material possessions. It represents our financial resources and the things we hold dear. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, is placed in this house in a retrograde position, it significantly influences how a person engages with these aspects of life. Individuals with this placement in the second house are often deep thinkers, especially when it comes to matters of finances and personal values. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their financial decisions, investments, and the things they consider valuable. Moreover, this placement in the second house often bestows a unique perspective on matters related to wealth and self-worth. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to their financial strategies and what they prioritize in life. They might seek alternative or non-traditional approaches to building and managing their resources. They are extremely intelligent and rational when it comes to managing their wealth because Mercury rules logical thought, and the second house is associated with our wealth. They can excel in wealth management or the financial industry. Consequently, this person is primarily business-oriented. The second house governs the throat and speech, and Mercury itself is associated with communication skills. Whatever they do, they do it to make a living, like getting paid for their speech, singing, or communication abilities. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful discussions about money and the things they hold dear. Additionally, from second house Mercury aspects the eighth house, associated with sudden events, taxes, inheritance, and hidden secrets also including subjects like astrology and other occult sciences. This suggests that the individual is likely curious and interested in delving into occult knowledge and hidden aspects of life. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to financial matters may occasionally become overly critical or self-critical. Individuals with this placement in the second house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their thoughts about money and values or may feel that their ideas are not always easily understood by others. It's as though the depth of their financial insights and personal values can sometimes be challenging to convey. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the second house adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of wealth, personal values, and material resources. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on financial matters, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing financial insights and personal values effectively. The third house in astrology is often associated with communication, learning, and the immediate environment. It represents our everyday interactions, siblings, and the way we process information. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed in this house in a retrograde position, it profoundly influences how a person engages with these aspects of life. Individuals with this placement in the third house are often deep thinkers, particularly when it comes to matters of communication and learning. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their thought processes, speech, and the way they convey information. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder the nuances of their everyday interactions and the significance of their mental activities. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the third house often bestows a unique perspective on matters related to communication and learning. 
These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to how they express themselves, seek knowledge, and engage with their immediate environment. They might be drawn to alternative or non-traditional approaches to learning and communication. Those with this placement in the third house may find that they communicate with depth and precision, choosing their words carefully to convey their thoughts effectively. They tend to excel at articulating complex ideas and engaging in intellectual discussions that require thoughtful communication. Generally, this placement indicates a person who is very focused on business. As a result, the majority of the time when they conduct business, it is communications-oriented. Mercury may make someone a very shrewd salesperson in this house. With the skillful and occasionally devious use of their communication talents, they are able to sell practically anything to anyone. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to everyday interactions and learning may occasionally become overly critical or introspective. Individuals with this placement in the third house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing themselves or may feel that their thoughts are not always easily understood by others. It's as though the depth of their mental processes and communication style can sometimes be challenging to convey. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the third house adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of communication, learning, and mental activities. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on everyday interactions, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing thoughts and ideas effectively in everyday life. The fourth house in astrology is often associated with one's home, family, roots, and emotional foundations. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, is placed in this house in a retrograde position, it profoundly influences how a person communicates and processes emotions within the context of their home and family life. Individuals with this placement are often deep thinkers, particularly when it comes to matters of home and family. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their family relationships, childhood experiences, and their own emotional well-being. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder the deeper aspects of their emotional connections and the significance of their roots. Furthermore, this placement often grants individuals a unique perspective on matters pertaining to the home and family. These individuals tend to possess unconventional thought processes when it comes to family dynamics, their sense of belonging, and their emotional foundations. They may be inclined to explore alternative or non-traditional approaches to addressing family issues or seeking emotional security. Given Mercury's association with business, they may even find it convenient to operate a business from the comfort of their home. Those with this placement may find that they communicate about their emotions and family matters with depth and precision. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful communication. They may excel at discussing complex emotional issues with a level of nuance that others may find challenging to match. Additionally, these individuals often have a strong affinity for engaging in conversations with their parents, particularly their mother. They may inherit their logical thinking and intellect from their mother, as Mercury signifies both. This alignment fosters effective communication within the family, making it an integral part of their daily lives. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to family and emotional matters may occasionally become overly critical or intense. If home environment is not communicative then they may not find peace of mind a fourth house. Individuals with this placement may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their feelings or may feel that their thoughts are not always easily understood by others. It's as though the depth of their emotions and familial connections can sometimes be challenging to put into words. Overall, this placement adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of home, family, and emotional foundations. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on family dynamics, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing emotions and thoughts related to these intimate areas of life. The fifth house in astrology is often associated with creativity, self-expression, and matters of the heart, including romantic relationships and hobbies. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, goes retrograde in this house, it brings a distinctive flavor to these aspects of life. Individuals with this placement in the fifth house often possess a deep and contemplative approach to creativity, and self-expression. They are likely to be introspective thinkers who delve into the intricacies of their creative processes. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they frequently explore their own unique artistic talents and hobbies. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the fifth house bestows a unique perspective on matters of the heart. 
These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to romantic relationships and the pursuit of pleasure and enjoyment. They might approach dating and romance in a non-traditional way, seeking out partners who share their unique outlook on life. As Mercury also symbolizes our youth, they may continue to cherish the sense of being in love, regardless of their age. These individuals also find joy in communicating with and being around children. Those with Mercury retrograde in the fifth house may find that they communicate about their creative pursuits and romantic feelings with a thoughtful and deliberate approach. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for precision and depth in their self-expression. This placement signifies individuals who thrive in their educational journey as they progress through their schooling. Their exceptional intelligence is highlighted, as Mercury represents intelligence, and the fifth house is associated with intellect. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present communication challenges, particularly in matters of the heart. Individuals with Mercury retrograde in the fifth house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their romantic feelings or may struggle to convey their creative ideas effectively. It's as though the depth of their emotions and creativity can sometimes be challenging to put into words. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the fifth house adds depth and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to creativity, self-expression, and matters of the heart. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on romantic relationships, and thoughtful communication in these areas, it can also bring challenges in expressing emotions and creative ideas smoothly. The sixth house in astrology is often associated with health, daily routines, work, and service to others. It represents the practical aspects of life, and when Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed here in a retrograde position, it influences how a person approaches these areas. They are often quite focused on their everyday routines, health, and work challenges. They may pay special attention to gaining specific knowledge and skills related to their job or trade. These individuals tend to be deep thinkers, especially when it comes to work and health matters. They naturally like to reflect and analyze their daily routines, job tasks, and health issues, diving into the finer aspects of their work and well-being. This introspection often leads to a rich inner world where they contemplate the details of their work and health. Knowing the information pertaining to your areas of interest is both a responsibility and a problem. There is an inclination for resolution, but if Mercury is badly aspect, you may be argumentative, especially in the context of your family. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the sixth house often bestows a unique perspective on practical matters. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to their work methods, daily routines, and approaches to health. They might question established norms and seek alternative or innovative solutions to problems in these areas. Communication in the realm of work and health is another intriguing aspect of this placement. Those with Mercury retrograde in the sixth house may find that they communicate about these matters with precision and thoroughness. They tend to be meticulous in their choice of words and approach their work and health concerns with a thoughtful and deliberate manner. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to work, health, and daily routines may occasionally become overly detailed or critical. These individuals may find themselves revising and rethinking their methods, which can sometimes lead to a sense of perfectionism and self-critique. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the sixth house adds depth and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to work, health, daily routines, and service to others. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on practical matters, and precision in communication, it can also bring challenges related to perfectionism and overanalysis. When Mercury is retrograde in the seventh house, it introduces a distinctive influence on how individuals engage in relationships and partnerships. The seventh house in astrology is closely associated with relationships, partnerships, and one-on-one -on -one interactions. It represents the way we approach and engage with others on a personal level. When Mercury, which represents communication and thinking, is retrograde in the seventh house of relationships, it brings a distinct quality to how a person handles partnerships. People with this placement tend to approach relationships with depth and contemplation. They are often introspective thinkers who like to explore the complexities and motivations within their relationships. This introspective nature leads them to a rich inner world where they frequently ponder the deeper aspects of their connections with others. They seek to understand the dynamics at play in their relationships, making them thoughtful and insightful partners. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the seventh house often bestows a unique perspective on matters of partnership. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to relationships, seeking non-traditional or alternative approaches to forming and maintaining connections with others. 
they may be drawn to partners who share their unique outlook on life. Communication within the realm of partnerships and one-on-one -on -one interactions is another intriguing aspect of this placement. These individuals desire to have a very communicative relationship with their spouse. They may find that they communicate about their relationships with depth and precision. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful communication. They may also be adept at discussing complex emotional issues with a level of nuance that others may find challenging to match. Their spouse is likely to be very young, as indicated by this placement. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also bring communication challenges within relationships. Individuals with Mercury retrograde in the seventh house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their thoughts and feelings to their partners, or may feel that their ideas and concerns are not always easily understood or acknowledged. It's as though the depth of their communication can sometimes be challenging to put into words. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the seventh house adds depth and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to relationships, partnerships, and one-on-one -on -one interactions. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on relationships, and thoughtful communication, it can also present challenges related to expressing emotions and thoughts within the context of partnerships. The eighth house in astrology is often associated with themes of transformation, shared resources, and the hidden aspects of life, including death, rebirth, and the occult. It represents the deep and profound aspects of our existence. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed in this house in a retrograde position, it influences how a person engages with these intense and profound topics. Individuals with this placement in the eighth house are often deep thinkers, especially when it comes to matters of transformation and the mysteries of life. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of human psychology spirituality, and the hidden forces that shape our existence. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they frequently ponder the deeper aspects of life. Additionally, since Mercury is the planet of communication and the eighth house is associated with in-laws' family, these individuals often engage in frequent communication with their extended family. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the eighth house often bestows a unique perspective on these profound matters. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to topics like death, rebirth, shared resources, and the occult. They might seek alternative or non-traditional approaches to understanding and navigating the mysteries of life. Those with this placement may find that they communicate about these topics with depth and intensity. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for precision and thoughtfulness in their discussions of these profound matters. They may also excel at delving into the hidden aspects of human experiences, uncovering secrets, and exploring the depths of the human psyche. This placement is highly advantageous for a career in astrology, as these individuals have a natural affinity for the occult and hidden sciences. They also have a propensity for educating people about these subjects. Furthermore, it's a favorable placement for professions such as auditing, counseling, working in the life insurance industry, or dealing with inheritance and bankruptcy issues. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to these intense topics may occasionally become too analytical or critical. Individuals with this placement in the eighth house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their thoughts and emotions about these deep and transformative experiences. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the eighth house adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of transformation, shared resources, and the mysteries of life. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on profound topics, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing emotions and thoughts related to these intense areas of life. The ninth house in astrology is often associated with higher education, philosophy, spirituality, and long journeys both physical and intellectual. It represents our quest for truth and meaning in life. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed here in a retrograde position, it influences how a person engages with these expansive and philosophical themes. Individuals with this placement in the ninth house are often deep thinkers, particularly when it comes to matters of higher learning and philosophical exploration. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their beliefs, ideologies, and spiritual perspectives. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder life's deeper questions. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the ninth house often bestows a unique perspective on matters of higher knowledge and philosophy. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to exploring the realms of spirituality, 
and the pursuit of truth. They might seek alternative or non-traditional paths to understanding the mysteries of life and the universe. Mercury encourages them to gather all information related to higher knowledge and religion because it represents information gathering. They wish to share or disseminate the knowledge they acquire and often find themselves in roles such as a teacher, professor, guru, guide, or counselor. Communication in the area of higher knowledge and philosophy is another intriguing aspect of this placement. Those with Mercury retrograde in the ninth house may find that they communicate about these profound topics with depth and precision. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful communication. They often excel in philosophical discussions and may have a natural gift for teaching and sharing their insights. However, it's essential to note that if Mercury is badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to these expansive topics may occasionally become overly critical or skeptical. Individuals with Mercury retrograde in the ninth house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their thoughts and beliefs, and they may find it challenging to convey their philosophical ideas in a way that resonates with others. They love to share their higher learnings with those around them, but occasionally, due to Mercury's youthful influence, their communication can come across as somewhat immature. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the ninth house adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of higher knowledge, philosophy, and spiritual exploration. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on philosophical matters, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing beliefs and ideas effectively. Tenth house represents our standing in society and the way we project ourselves to the world. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed in this house in a retrograde position, it influences how a person approaches these important life areas. Individuals with this placement in the 10th house are often deep thinkers, especially when it comes to matters of their career and public image. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their professional goals, aspirations, and the impact they wish to make in the world. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder their career choices and ambitions. As Mercury reigns over a wide variety of professions, one thing is certain. Their profession involves communication in some way. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the 10th house often bestows a unique perspective on matters related to public life and achievement. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to their career path and how they wish to contribute to society. They might seek alternative or innovative approaches to achieving their ambitions and making a mark in their chosen field. Communication in the area of career and public image is another intriguing aspect of this placement. Those with this placement in the 10th house may find that they communicate about their professional goals and ambitions with depth and precision. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful communication. They may excel in articulating their career plans and ideas to others. Additionally, since Mercury is associated with communication and the 10th house represents the father, these individuals tend to have communicative interactions with their fathers. Furthermore, as Mercury aspects the 4th house of the mother and home environment from the 10th house, they are highly communicative at home and with their mothers as well. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to career and public image may occasionally become overly critical or self-critical. Individuals with Mercury retrograde in the 10th house may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their thoughts and ambitions clearly, and they may find it challenging to convey their career ideas in a way that resonates with others. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the 10th house adds depth introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of career, public image, and ambitions. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on professional matters, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing career goals and ideas effectively. The eleventh house in astrology is often associated with friendships, groups, and our aspirations. It represents our connections with like-minded individuals, our involvement in social causes, and our long-term goals and dreams. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed in this house in a retrograde position, it influences how a person navigates these social and aspirational aspects of life. Individuals with this placement in the 11th house are often deep thinkers, especially when it comes to matters of friendship and their role within social networks. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their relationships with friends, their involvement in group activities, and their long-term objectives. This introspection can lead to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder their place within their social circles and their contribution to collective goals. 
Among their friends, with their children, or in their romantic partnerships, they often have a reputation for being very communicative. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the 11th house often bestows a unique perspective on matters related to friendships and group dynamics. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to forming and maintaining friendships, seeking out like-minded individuals, and pursuing shared objectives. Some might even develop incredibly innovative hobbies or interests that set them apart within their social groups. Communication within the area of friendships and group activities is another intriguing aspect of this placement. Those with this placement in the 11th house may find that they communicate with depth and precision in these social contexts. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful communication. These individuals may excel at articulating their ideas and goals to their friends and social groups. Furthermore, because Mercury rules intelligence and the 11th house is associated with gains, these individuals tend to be very analytical and realistic when it comes to their income and financial gains. They can benefit financially from their friendships or professional network, using their mathematical abilities to assess financial matters. However, it's essential to note that if Mercury retrograde in the 11th house is badly placed in the birth chart, it can also present challenges. Communication related to friendships and group involvement may occasionally become overly critical or self-critical. Individuals with this placement may encounter moments of difficulty expressing their thoughts and aspirations clearly to their friends and social circles. It's as though the depth of their communication can sometimes be challenging to put into words. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the 11th house adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of friendships, social networks, and long-term goals. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on social matters, and thoughtful communication, it can also bring challenges in expressing aspirations and ideas effectively within these contexts. The twelfth house in astrology is often associated with the subconscious mind, spirituality, and the hidden aspects of life. It represents our connection to the collective unconscious and our deep-seated psychological experiences. When Mercury, the planet of communication and thinking, placed in this house in a retrograde position, it profoundly influences how a person engages with these mysterious and profound themes. First and foremost, because Mercury rules communication and the twelfth house is the house of losses, these people may have issues connecting with others, leading them to be extremely quiet, especially in their early years. They often prefer to express themselves through writing, making this placement ideal for writers. Mercury can convey imaginations through writings, and the twelfth house, being the house of imagination, enhances this ability. Individuals with Mercury retrograde in the twelfth house are deep thinkers, especially concerning matters of the subconscious, spirituality, and hidden realms. They have a natural inclination for introspection and analysis, frequently delving into the intricacies of their inner thoughts, dreams, and spiritual experiences. This introspection leads to a rich inner world, where they continuously ponder the hidden aspects of their psyche and their connection to the spiritual dimensions of life. Moreover, Mercury retrograde in the twelfth house often bestows a unique perspective on matters related to the subconscious and spirituality. These individuals may have unconventional thought processes when it comes to understanding their dreams, intuitions, and their connection to higher realms. They might seek alternative or non-traditional approaches to exploring their inner world and connecting with the divine. Those with this placement may find that they communicate about these profound topics with depth and precision. They tend to choose their words carefully, aiming for meaningful and thoughtful communication. They excel at articulating their spiritual experiences and delving into the hidden aspects of their psyche. They often prefer working alone and produce their best results when writing about their imagination, spirituality, and otherworldly topics. Additionally, as the twelfth house represents distant places and Mercury is the planet of business, this position also depicts someone operating a business abroad. However, it's essential to note that if badly placed, it can also present challenges. Communication related to the subconscious and spiritual experiences may occasionally become overly complex or difficult to express. Individuals with Mercury retrograde in the twelfth house may encounter moments of difficulty conveying their thoughts and experiences related to the hidden realms, finding it challenging to put their spiritual insights into words. Overall, Mercury retrograde in the twelfth house adds depth, introspection, and a unique perspective to an individual's approach to matters of the subconscious mind, spirituality, and hidden realms. While it fosters deep thinking, a distinctive outlook on spiritual matters, and thoughtful communication in these areas, it can also bring challenges in expressing the complexities of the inner world effectively. 
In conclusion, exploring the influence of retrograde Mercury through various houses in the natal birth chart provides valuable insights into an individual's communication style, intellectual tendencies, and thought processes. However, it's important to remember that these interpretations are solely based on the house placement of retrograde Mercury and should be viewed as a starting point for understanding its impact. To gain a more comprehensive and nuanced perspective of this placement, it is essential to consider the entire birth chart. Factors such as planetary conjunctions, aspects, the sign in which Mercury is placed, and its nakshatra placement can significantly modify the effects of retrograde Mercury in a specific house. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more astrological insights, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with you in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.